Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've posted or uh, even streamed anything. I've been uh, dealing with a lot recently. I've, I've been dealing with some significant artist block as well as some, uh, well, technical issues. Uh, my current iPad is causing me some problems. I ordered a new one, but it's apparently a long wait until I get the next one. I should be seeing it sometime, uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks here, which would be nice so I can start uh, getting some, up, you know, well, uploading some more artwork, uh, get back to working on my comic book. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been dealing with a little bit of the 2020 blues, which are fairly common, it seems, right around now, as well as, uh, you know, just trying to get past this, like, mental block I've had with trying to do my art recently. Uh, I got a couple different things uh, set up for some future videos here. Um, I got a new sketchbook. I'm going to try to start sketching more to keep myself... Uh, hopefully gaining some inspiration on the go as well as I think I'm going to upload some more traditional artwork uh, I do, do love working with some uh, alcohol markers and I got some cheaper ones to try out and see if that uh, is a fun thing to create some artwork with as well as uh, you know just uh, pushing forward with uh, my comic and my traditional art actually I got some pretty cool things on the writing front of my comic that I'm excited to share with people but I think I'm going to have to keep it pretty quiet for now uh, anyway Back to the art in front of us. Uh, this is a piece that I'm calling the Space Templar. Um, it's something that I actually did pretty randomly. Um, uh, I was invited by James Ray's the box office artist, to send him some artwork that he has not seen so that he could review it on one of his videos. That video is up, and I will link it in the uh, well uh, the description below if you wanted to check that out. And if you're not already following James Ray's, you really should be. He's an incredible comic book artist. Uh, has done a bunch of different really cool projects, including a massive Star Wars mural involving all of the movies. Uh, he's done a bunch with uh, the Marvel movies. He does really cool uh, both challenges and mashups all over his channel. Really, really fantastic artist. Really wonderful guy. And I highly suggest checking out his artwork, especially if you need some cool inspiration to get some drawings going or want to learn a few things. He's a pretty fantastic person and uh, easy to talk to. Uh, anyway, he was looking for some cool artwork to uh, to review with some other comic book artists, and uh, it was pretty uh, pretty cool from my end of things to uh, see some people see my artwork in general. But even cooler to be inspired to work on something that had absolutely nothing to do with any other project I'm currently working on. This was just a picture. It was just something to create and uh, you know, like I'm a, I'm an eternal five year old, so to create something and to color it and just have fun with, with like trying out some fun flash style coloring and uh, I wanted to keep things uh, fairly simple as you can see on the screen right now I'm currently just flatting everything out with a couple of random tones so it's easier to just color in the future but I believe I spent like nine and a half hours on this I've actually spent a little bit more since this video creation uh, because I would it, procreate uh, has released an update that there were some pretty cool things I could do. I'll probably uh, post an updated version of the picture at some point in the near future here once this video goes live. But uh, I really just wanted to play around with like a random character in a random scene doing some things and you know it was exactly what I kind of needed. It was nice to just draw something that had no attachments to a story, no attachments to anything else. It was just creating. It was nice to do a cool character design and play around with what I can do with some digital painting. Uh, actually, uh, painting's probably not even the best way to put it. It was very much just flatting things out, and uh, I, don't know, I gave it like some slight gradients here and there. But there's minimal like uh, like super shading. It's mostly just playing with a bunch bunch of multiply layers and trying things out. Um, <laughs> which I would love to at some point make almost like a tutorial about like multiply layers. But really, all it would end up being is try out a bunch of things until it looks right. <laughs> Because that's, I think that almost everyone who uses multiply layers probably, like I can kind of describe maybe like three different types of multiply layers and what they actually do. Otherwise, it's just scrolling through them until I find the one that's right. Because what a multiply layer is, is it blends uh, several layers or, you know, one or two layers or several layers together on top of each other. So you can decide how it goes through, whether it shows through more of the dark colors, more of the light colors, or whether it enhances light colors or enhances dark colors. Uh, whether it blends colors together, it, it does a bunch of different things. And like I said, I, I've played with, I, don't, I couldn't even describe which ones in this, it's just a bunch of them. I think I used a bunch of screen toning, a, a bunch of multiply layers. Overlays are really fun once you start messing around with them. 
Uh, all in all, though, I am super happy with how this piece came out. It was just, I don't know, like it was one of those rare times where you just uh, take a, uh, you know, well, in this case it was digital, so I grabbed the Apple Pencil and just it just came out. You know, the artwork just was, just worked the way I had saw it in my head almost immediately, which doesn't always work out for me, which is, so it was pretty cool to uh, <laughs> have that happen recently and not have to go through a bunch of uh, editing processes of figuring out exactly what works and what didn't. And also, I just love playing with like the lighting. Whenever you have uh, a, a light source within your scene, it's fantastic because it means that you don't have to do any guesswork. But yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with how this came out, and I did some of my usual like little weird border lines. It almost makes it look like some kind of playing card. Which is kind of fun. I mean, when it's just a picture by itself, it's I kind of find it fun to, to add some of that sort of random geometry to it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this piece. It was really fun for me to work on. It's hopefully getting me out of some art block. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe. I do plan on uploading a lot more frequently. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Catch you in the next one.